Hello, I'm Mark Patterson. Um, this is my wife, Michelle Patterson. I uh, just kind of want to give a little story. Um, last November 3rd, my mom and my brother Ryan were um, brutally murdered in their house. My brother Ryan was into motocross with a passion. He grew up with me racing. Um, I started racing in 1982. Ryan started when he was four years old on his uh, little 50. With everything that uh, my brother loved to do, he, I mean, he'd lived motocross. everything that happened we want, my wife Michelle and I wanted to just do something in his name uh, so we came up with RPM the Ryan Patterson Motocross Foundation he always loved helping and teaching the kids if someone had a question he would go and answer them he would help them he would give them guidance or just show them what to do we actually had a free motocross school um, we invited six pro instructors Alan has donated the whole track for the motocross school with uh, our RPM school, it was scheduled to be last weekend, but between the hurricane and the snowstorm that everybody had, we had to move the event to this Friday, we had our school, and then today, Sunday, we have um, the race day. Even with that being said, to reschedule on a race day, we had 46 kids signed up for the free motocross school to come free and get, you know, help and be taught by these six pro instructors that we had here between Barry Carstens, Tyler Wozni, Brian Carroll, uh, Jim McElvain, Steve Stella, and uh, Dan Callahan. All those guys just to come out for free to help these guys and spend the whole day with all these little kids on the track was just awesome. Everybody knows we're all on racing budgets. Um, Ryan was on a racing budget. He was always robbing Peter to pay Paul to get to the races, to buy a part, to keep his bike running, to pay entry fee. So what we tried to do was get together with any and every manufacturer that we could in the short amount of time. Michelle and I started, we jumped on board on this probably like in June. With all the manufacturers, we have so much product that they donated to us to give back to the kids from full sets of gear from Troy Lee and Fox and Mount Holly Kawasaki, DHY, Town and Country. Everybody is just coming out to donate free gear, free helmets, chest protectors, Liette braces, um, anything, that, anything that you could see back at the tent um, is just free. Tires, the kids are coming up and just getting a free, they're having a free raffle and it's just going back to the kids just for free. We got here first thing this morning. We started setting up the tent. We put all the products out. Um, over at the riders meeting, we just announced exactly how everything we, you know, was gonna go. Um, we have st had stuff for kids just to come up for free to pick everything. And then we have free raffles, which we're gonna be actually be doing in a little bit uh, for the riding gear, the Liette braces, the helmets, all the, the bigger kind of stuff. Alan here at Blue Diamond just had a memorial lap. Um, for my brother, it's intermission, and the announcer called up everybody that had a bike to go out on the track and do a memorial lap. I rode my brother's bike, we started up on the start line, and I, I called down on the side and I said, hey, go over to the side, tell everybody one, two, three, and just pin it for him up there. And everybody did. riding around just turned around and looked at everybody riding the lap was just I mean everybody in this pit came out and rode the lap Michelle and Jolene Jolene is one of our event directors they got on a quad and rode around the lap they've never been on the track before at all I can't say enough again for Alan for everything he's been doing for the instructors for helping us out for all the pro guys that helped us out with the school, it's just been awesome. I'm just trying to keep my brother's name on the track and you know, just doing the best that we can to keep him out here on the track. And just there's just been so, so much great reception from everybody. And hopefully from 
everybody being, you know, being able to see what we're doing and we're giving back to all these little kids. Hopefully all the manufacturers will team up again with us next year so that we can do it all again next year. And I already know the pro instructors will and I know Alan here at Blue Diamond is, you know, willing to do it. So um, that's, you know, I'm just hoping we can keep this alive and that's our plan to keep it alive for Rod. To find out all the information about our foundation, it's the Ryan Patterson Motocross Foundation. You can go on Facebook and just type in Ryan Patterson Motocross Foundation or go on our website, rpmfoundation.com, and that'll have all of our information. Uh, Facebook kind of gives us a day-by-day -day of what we're doing, our sponsors, who we've been talking to, what pros we've been talking to to help us out. The website will kind of give you an overview of the foundation of exactly, you know, point by point, what we are doing, why we started it, and that's pretty much the, the two places to go to find out about the foundation.